Good evening, kids, and welcome back to Blanket Fort Vespers. I am Pastor Sarah, and I am so very glad that you are here this evening visiting me again in my cozy blanket fort. As I'm recording this video for us, guess what? It's raining outside. I love a good rainy evening. I like to listen to the sound it makes on the roof. And when I open a window, I like the smell of rain. And then in the morning, when I take a Brewster for a walk, I enjoy stomping in all the puddles that the rain made. Do you like rain? There's something so special about a rainy evening. All this talk about rain has me thinking about a very soggy, very rainy story from the Bible. Have you ever heard of a man named Noah? A man who built a big old boat and loaded it with animals when it rained? We are going to read his story tonight. But first, we have a little bit of business to take care of to start our worship service. We are going to light our candle. This light reminds us that the spirit of God's love is with us wherever we are. That God's love is with us when we are at home with our families. God's love is with us when we are doing our schoolwork. God's love is with us when we sleep and when we wake in the morning. God is always there for us. So that candle reminds us of just that. And we are going to sing a song to start our evening together. We are going to sing a song called Mercy is Falling. This is a song that I learned at camp when I was a little kid and the song that I've taught to many a person ever since then. It's a great song about God's love and mercy being like rain in that it is for all of us. Are you ready? Okay, the song has some hand motions that you're welcome to follow along with, and the song repeats itself. So if you'd like to listen to part of it, and then you might be able to join in the second time through. And if you ever come to church camp in the summer, you can arrange, you're gonna sing this song with a big group. Okay, so let me start my song here. Mercy is falling, is falling, is falling. Mercy is falling like a sweet spring rain. Mercy is falling, is falling all over this gal. And I say, hey yo, I received your mercy. Hey yo, I received your grace. Hey yo, I will dance forevermore. Mercy is falling, is falling, is falling. Mercy is falling like a sweet spring rain. Mercy is falling all over this gal. And I said, hey yo, I received your mercy. Hey yo, I received your grace. Hey yo, I will dance forevermore. Na 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 the scal <laughs> And I said hey yo I received your mercy hey yo I received your grace hey yo I will dance forevermore <laughs> Thank you for singing with me The story of Noah and his family and their boat full of animals is really a story all about mercy, like what we sang about. This story is towards the very beginning of the Bible, if you want to go looking for it, in a book called Genesis. Genesis is a word that means beginnings, fittingly enough. What happens to Noah and his family is one of the oldest stories in our Christian faith. Let's listen to our Bible story. Our Bible story this evening is from the book of Genesis, chapter 6, the story of Noah. Adam and Eve had Cain. Cain had children. His children had children. 
and their children had children. The earth became full of people. Sadly, most of them forgot about God and did bad things. This filled his heart with pain. God so was so sad about it that he wanted to stop it. He wanted to make the world better. There was one man in all the world who walked with God. His name was Noah. God told him, Noah, build an ark and pack it with enough food for you and your family. And for the male and female animals, I will send your way. Then enter the boat, all of you. Noah did what God said, and the animals came in pairs, lions and lambs, butterflies and horses, bluebirds and bears, foxes and elephants. What kind of animals do you see? Just as God had told Noah, it began to rain. First just a little, then big raindrops pounded the earth, hundreds of raindrops, Thousands, millions, billions, trillions. There was so much water that the ground started to flood. And Noah's ark, which carried Noah, his family, and every kind of animal in the world, started to float. Before long, the whole earth was covered with water. God's flood destroyed the bad things and washed them all away. Yet everyone... And everything in the ark were safe and sound because Noah did what God said. They don't look like they're having tons of fun on the ark. Hmm. After 40 days and 40 nights, the rain stopped. The sun came out. Slowly the water went down. God's boat came to rest on top of a tall mountain. Noah sent out a dove to look around. It had no place to land, so it came back to the ark. Noah waited seven days and then sent it out again, and it returned with a fresh olive leaf in its beak. The flood is over, Noah shouted. Trees are growing again. To celebrate the world's new beginning, God hung a rainbow in the sky. I will never again use a flood to destroy the earth, God said. This rainbow is my promise to all of my people. God knew that bad things would happen again, but he already had another plan. One day, he would send his son Jesus to save children from evil. So the story of Noah, when you were a little kid in the church nursery, you were probably told that Noah built a big old boat and stuffed it with every kind of animal, two by two. They were all put away in their animal stalls and when the rain came tumbling down, Noah loaded up his family and they were all safe. They floated above the water. And we probably left the story at that. Well, all that's true. All the animals were loaded up on the boat. Although some animals, there were more than just two that were loaded up on the boat. But as you were all growing up, and as you were all good thinkers, I want for us to back up in this story a little bit and talk about why Noah and his family had to build a big boat in the first place. So this story was set during a time when people had forgotten about God. They had forgotten about God's commandment to love each other. This was a time when people were being mean to one another, when they were being selfish and not caring about their neighbors. They were violent and hurting the earth with their actions. Everyone had turned bad, all except Noah. Noah was a good man who, together with his wife, had taught his family about love. Noah had taught his family about the importance of being kind and putting their neighbor's need ahead of their own. 
and God saw how hard Noah was working to build a family of love. And God saw an opportunity in that. God decided to start over with the whole earth. And Noah and his family would be the people to teach love to all the generations that came after them. Noah's family would teach everyone about God again. So he told Noah to build a massive boat, a boat we call an ark, and to load it up with animals because God was going to flood the earth. Wow, flooding the earth, that sounds so scary. But Noah was smart and he listened to God. And he and his family worked hard to round up all the animals and load them aboard. They gathered all the supplies and the food that they would need for their long journey. And they too climbed aboard the boat just as that rain started to fall. And it was Grandpa Noah with all of his kids and his grandkids in a very full, very smelly boat. Just think about that. And as the rain fell, and as the earth was covered in water and the boat began to float, they all knew that everything that had once been living was now being washed away. Wow. That must have been very sad and a very uneasy moment for Noah and his whole family. For 40 days, the rain fell. That's more than a month. I mean, I like a rainy day, but that's a long time. But sure enough, the sun did come out. And before long, one of Noah's birds brought back a tree twig, which told them that their water levels across the earth were going down and the trees were growing again. They were all going to be okay. And then God did something amazing. God put a big rainbow in the sky. It hung there in the blue sky with all of its bright colors as a message. That rainbow meant that there would never be a flood that big again. God was never going to start over with the earth or wipe the slate clean. No, God was never going to do that again. God wasn't going to let the people of the world forget about love ever again. God was always going to stay close. And God was going to stay busy with the people. And God was going to help us remember every day our duty to love one another and to be kind to one another. The story of Noah and his big old boat is a wild story. There are scary things that happen and hopeful things that happen. But the whole thing teaches us about God's mercy. Because God saw Noah and his family. He saw how they loved each other. And in doing so, God knew that everything was going to be okay. We are all to remember that God loves us and wants good things for us that nothing we could ever do or say, not even if the world goes all topsy-turvy, would ever chase that love away. God loves you no matter what. So when we see a rainbow in the sky, we are to remember how much God loves us. Okay, you've all been very good listeners, thank you. I have a couple of jokes that I would like to teach you. Are you ready? Make sure to share these with your family members and your neighbors so that they can have an opportunity to laugh with you. Okay. What animal could Noah not trust? A cheetah. <laughs> On the ark, Noah probably got milk from the cows. But what did he get from the ducks? Quackers. <laughs> okay, our last joke for the evening. Why did they play why didn't they play cards on the ark? Because Noah was standing on the deck. <laughs> 
In our story Bible, there was a ladder written to us right at the end of the pictures. Remember seeing that? It's right here. And it's a really nice letter. And we're to hear it as if this was a letter written to us by Jesus. And I'd like to share it with you. It's very, very good. It starts with a verse from Psalm 91. It says, God will cover you with her feathers. She will shelter you with her wings. Her faithful promises are your armor and protection. Here's the letter. Trust me, my child, and don't be afraid. I will care for my children. Just as a mother bird covers her babies with her wings to protect them, I cover you with promises of my love. When you see a rainbow in the sky, remember my loving care of Noah's family. Then think about how much I love you. Okay, let's say our prayers together. Dear Jesus, help us never to forget how much you love us. Help us to be kind. Help us to remember our neighbor. God bless our friends. God bless our family. God bless our church. God keep us safe until we are together again. Amen. Now Mr. Todd is going to play Goodnight Creator and you are welcome to sing along. I'll put up the lyrics on the screen in case you would like to read along or begin to learn those lyrics. And then afterwards we will have our blessing. Hi, my name's Todd. I'm going to sing a song with you that I learned a long time ago at Camp Sunshine. It's called Goodnight Creator. If you'd like to sing, you can sing along wherever you are. It goes like this. by God, by your church family, wholly and completely for who you are right here and right now. You are just amazing. May you rest well and dream big so that tomorrow you can do brave things. Good night, Creator. Put thoughts of Jesus in my head. Holy Spirit, comfort me. Put angels all around my bed. Good night.